Hey everyone, thought I'd do a recording of my walk home from work today. So this is how I look, because it's a little cold outside. Do, 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 do. It's about a 20 minute walk, don't know, we'll look at that hair, it's like a shark fin. That's the hope, it's a shark fin. <laughs> so I haven't done one of these before, um, and because my things moving in the shrubs my uh, what am I saying my selfie stick yes I have a selfie stick is not with me you're gonna have it wobbly and you're gonna have it quite close I mean it'd be nice if it's up there but it's not anyway so and I might go quiet if someone walks past because I'm a bit shy but I thought I might as well do some sort of all-in-one take vlog of my I don't know something I'm sure I'll think of something because we're going to VGT this year oh yeah VGT I say VGT because I say the V like the German W but it's actually WGT but that sounds weird WGT wave gothic treffen if I said that right I hope I did so this is something that I have been wanting to do my whole life because I'm so old but <laughs> I was hoping to do it oh here comes someone <gasps> I'll get tired I'll get quiet I'll get closer you can see all my oldness <laughs> oldness um yeah so I've been wanting to do wave gothic ever since I heard about it and that's been many many years and I follow the videos and the pictures that come up every year and before they had uh, YouTube and other things like that I used to just follow pictures and one of the goals bucket list whatever you want to call it of moving over to Europe from Australia excuse me sniffly it's cold it's three degrees outside that's hence the furry coat um, was to get to wave and a wonderful friend Mel who I'll link her YouTube site below she does some great stuff too she has gone a few times and we were talking and she said that she wanted to go and I said we wanted to go we being me and hubby booze but I'd never been and she wanted to go but she usually doesn't have money to travel as much blah 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 so we came up with the plan to go we played this plan last year we booked accommodation we have a place we have a self catering place and we are going it's now this year we're going in 140 odd days or just under 140 days and I'm like really excited nervous because I always get nervous about new things um, I'm trying not to let that nervousness become anxiety because I've been told that it's not a negative space it's going to be amazing to be wandering around a place Leipzig a place a whole town city and pretty much everyone's like this everyone looks alternative looks interesting mostly wearing black but wearing other colors all different types but we're all going to be there for the same reason you know I'm going to meet my tribe and it's it's really exciting it's really exciting I'm going to show you this this is where I'm walking so this will be a bit of stream of consciousness I'll tell you that um, but this is, used to be a train line that they decommissioned the train line and they made it into a walking path behind homes the weather is grey this is the colour of my hair which is why I look like I even have I do actually have hair see, ta -da. oh no you can still see the roots ah. anyway so yes so VGT VGT WGT wave no don't rain anyway so wave so I've got outfits planned and I've been testing out clothes I'm testing out shoes to see how they feel throughout a whole day so lots of little planning things I've got one outfit I want to cook so cook. 
Um, and that will be, well, for me it'll be quite exciting and outrageously, hopefully, there'll be lots of hopeful hand painting. I keep saying hopeful because I haven't actually started it. I've got all the fabric for it, but I haven't started it. So we'll see. So yes, wave. And then I'll hopefully, my plan is hopefully to do some of this, feel less embarrassed about walking around with a selfie stick talking to it. <laughs> and I might even get some editing equipment or software or whatever you call it and do an edited video or two, depending. Because we're also going to Berlin the week before. Uh, so that will be quite fun because I've never been to Berlin either. Neither is hubby neither is Mel so it'll be fun so I've had a week of work it's been quite whew, been a long week at work um, I work in admin but I really want to move into something more something different and I don't know what I'd love to work for pucker tees that'd be cool but I'd need to if it's not admin I'd need to do education. But I thought also I might talk about the experience of moving, moving countries. So as you could probably hear, uh, can you tell I come from Australia? If you don't already know, which I think most people following me already know or are my friends. So, But if you don't know, I come from Australia. I come from Queensland. I don't have the strongest of accents, and that's because, oh, I'm gonna change hands. Hang on a sec. Oi. Ah, there we go. There's my bag I painted. Oh, it's gold. I should have gloves on. Here comes another person, so I might go quiet. Um, yet so, I uh, lived in Australia my whole life, but we decided we wanted to move. And we both realized that we both wanted to move years and years ago. We both, I've been wanting to live in the UK. Well, I've been wanting to live in Europe for a long time. Nice job, though. Anyway. Oh, God, this sniffle's driving me mad. It's probably driving you, too. Anyway. Oh, i got to show you this. So, thistles. Look at the size of these thistles. Can you see? I don't know if you can. Probably not. Uh, they're massive. They're the size of my head. Um, so, yes. We moved over here after both realizing and discussing things after Chris got cancer uh, and I'll do a video about being a carer for cancer because I think that's yeah that's a video I'm gonna do but anyway so we made decisions we talked we, we discussed stuff and we both realized we'd wanted to live in Europe pretty much our whole lives so we sold everything and anything we didn't sell, we packed up. And we shipped it to a house in France that we bought on the internet. Uh-huh. We hadn't seen the house. I think if we had, we possibly wouldn't have bought that particular house because it needed more work than we thought. But we then moved. We moved <laughs> in November, December. Having never spent a Christmas in Europe, and we moved to a house with no central heating. Here comes a jogger. It's not really a jogger because he's wearing normal business shoes. There you go. Okay, yeah, so it was. Old. But what an experience and we spent the year there I spent 14 months there and yeah 
I loved it. We loved it. But we couldn't stay and support ourselves because we couldn't get working visas at that time. So we moved to England. And then, oh, I need to move lanes. So we moved to England and we've been here ever since. We've been here five years now, almost six. Uh, yeah. the birds and the traffic We're getting close to the town so I probably will stop soon but we moved here we've lived here and it's very it's weird because we speak the same language although there are words that are different and we come pretty much from the same stock you know both Chris and I are well British European so, you know, we're talking, he's English, I'm Scottish-Irish. So there, there should be similarity, and there is, there's a lot of similarity. But then there's a lot of little differences. Is it morning? No, afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's odd. There are certain humour, there's certain turns of phrase, especially as an Australian. I think I've been told that as an Australian I'm more Scottish in presentation, in that we're a bit more upfront, honest, direct, which can sometimes be seen as tactless, although it isn't. Uh, and I've, I've spoken to, I'm now working, not close, but I have a, a work colleague in the same building that is Scottish, and we do chat. It's great. I love his accent. And then I have people saying they love mine. So there we go. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been, hmm, certainly been a learning curve. And I think it's given me hope and appreciation of different ways of thinking and more open I don't know I could just be talking through my bum I'll see if I can show you it I see every time I turn the camera it's too dark there was a little robin looking very cute look at me look at good rosy cheeks that's not makeup. That is how cold it is. Is it probably my nose as well? Rosy cold cheeks. And they feel it. And my chin. My chin gets so cold. My fingers are frozen because I'm holding this camera. And I should have put a beanie on. But you know, it would flatten my hair. Anyway, I'm most of the way there. But now there's a lot of people, so I won't keep going now. But I'm going to send through. I might do this again. Oh, someone's lost their balloon. Oh well. There it goes. It said happy birthday. One thing that bugs me though, so we're coming near a supermarket shopping, yeah. And there is just rubbish. It's just rubbish everywhere. Empty bottles, empty wrappers, empty tins. It's just, it's just disgusting. And they don't have anything like Clean Up Australia Day, which they should, because they really should. But anyway. Oh, and this is all blackberries. These are blackberry bushes. And when it's blackberry season, come out and collect them. Oh, they're so good. We've got a cherry tree up here that I collect in cherry season. Although, I might not be eating them now that I'm keto. I might treat myself, you know. Um, yeah, so we're almost at home. For about another five, ten minutes. But as I said, I will stop now. And I hope you're all having a lovely day, whether it's hot and sunny, 
or cold and windy or snowing or raining whatever the weather is if it's grey like this hello but uh, hopefully you're having a lovely day and if you're not remember that it will pass and hopefully tomorrow will be better uh, see you all love you talk to you soon